All right, today we are continuing episode four of Guardians of the Galaxy. Enjoy. All right, let's get back to it. Freaking tunnels. We get it. We're in a cave. Excellent smell receptors. One thousand percent sure it was the worm. I think your percentage is a little high. Can we just keep moving, please? At the end of the tunnel's just up ahead. Holy crap! Easy there, Quill. Nice and easy. Thank the Lord. Praise the Lord. Enough awkward hugging for today. Seriously, Drax, get off me. I will help you. No, no, not you, Mantis. No. Ah, great. What a dream again. 
fuck's sake. Still fresh. This must be close. Something small. There is no escape. You, Papa. You should have seen your face. Outwitted by your own daughter. <laughs> yes, Kamaria. You surprised me. I knew I could do it. You are getting stealthier. You have now completed the test of guile and diversion. These skills will serve you well on the warrior's path, where every child must leave their home and make the perilous journey to the training grounds. Take it seriously, Kamaria. I say it out of love, daughter. This path, it is not to be taken lightly. If... If I was scared, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Not that I am. It's just that... I mean... It is normal to feel scared. It is? Yes. So use it to make yourself more focused and less reckless in battle. I must admit, I do feel a little scared, but I will be stronger for it. We don't have long. Before you leave, I promised you the tattoo! I am ready, Papa. <laughs> I know you are. Your first tattoo marks you as a warrior in training. You will add many as your journey continues. Relax, daughter. It will not take long. Kylos. Your mother and I had our soul union there. I don't ever want a soul union. Never. Ever. I will become a great warrior on my own. I'm not like the other scouts. Talking as if they're already warriors. Standing with others makes you stronger. There is much you can gain by having someone at your side. Like you and Mama. Yes. She is much tougher than you. Mm. <clears throat> Scream if you need to dull the pain. There is not shame. <laughs> that was loud enough to scare your enemies. Papa, there's so little time. And sometimes I feel like there's still so much to ask you. What is it you wish to know? What if... What if I face an opponent who cannot be beaten? I am strong, but I am small. I fear that my skills will not be enough when the time comes. If that happens, you only have to come and find me. Nothing is unbeatable when we fight together. And what if... 
What will you do if I return more powerful than even you? My legend spreading across the valleys. My foes quivering in fear. Then we will have to fight each other. And that will be the day of your greatest defeat. Ow! It is done. It is us. There is one last test you must pass before you can leave. Conquering the unknown. It's too far. I, I can't see what's down there. You must jump. Unless you wish to wait another year. No! I'm ready! Like you said, it's normal to feel scared. I... I can't do it. You have to help me, Papa. Wait! Proud of you, Kamaria. You will do well at the training grounds. I'm gonna miss you, Papa. <laughs> there is no reason to. Look at your tattoo and know I am always with you. Aww. I will. Papa, I must go now. You have to let me go sometime. Goodbye, Papa. I never should have let her go. Maybe, maybe then she would still be alive. <coughs> Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can use some muscle over here! I am yeah! Ah, great. Um, those are kind of big, though. Ah, oh, never mind, we're good. Holy sh This is where we run. Shit! Intentional. I was only trying to pull him off you. What are you talking about? You got us out of there. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be getting squeezed to death by Drax. Oh, you're right. I was the hero. The ship! There's 
Where's my girl? Hurry, Rocket! I'm trying! I ain't got long stick legs like the rest of you! Everyone take a seat, we're leaving! Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am A tree? Stop yanking my tail! It's giant and terrifying and probably wants us dead. I don't need to know any more about it. In this case, I'll say your extreme lack of curiosity is a virtue, Will. Nebula's plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay, then we're good to go. Wait! I feel something. Someone is... starving. No, bigger! My hunger has no equal. Ah. Once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. Just one big boat. I am through. Wrong again, Bruce. We're all gonna die. My JP! Night time! Dead? <sighs> Not quite. Where lunch or dinner? What time is it? In a slimy cave. It is a big old stomach. Nebula, look at her. What the hell is she doing? Laura, wait. Okay. Damn it. Plug her back in, Peter. No. Stop. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid. Please. Don't make me beg. It's okay, Gamora. Let's leave her be. Pick it back up. She'll let me have this. Ready to give up on you. I'm going to get Rocket. There's no use. You can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. Whenever I wanted. Maybe then I could have slept. Thank you. For helping us back there. You risked yourself for all of us. And look where it got me. At least Gamora's okay. It was my idea to put all this in my body to let everyone it was so I could be better than Gamora why did you really do it? to be more like her huh? I looked up to her I was terrible to her Oh, come on, how, how far is it to get to Rocket? I loved her. As soon as she's gonna die, Rocket and Gamora are gonna, are gonna come back. You don't have to. She already knows. Really? It doesn't matter. It's too late for Gamora and me. <laughs> I'm a living reminder of her time with Thanos. She 
can't move on until that last... that last piece of him is gone. And things will be better soon. For everyone. Sometimes, it's even more important to remember the bad times than the good. To be reminded that no matter how terrible things are, you can get through it. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Peter, for listening to us. <laughs> Whatever it is. Hey. Hey. Do, uh, do you want me to... I don't know people uh, trying to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I... I know. Holy shit! I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. Okay. Let's get back to work. I just want to focus on... I'm so sorry, Gamora. <gasps> Me too. Nebula was the fiercest. Most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. <laughs> what I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. Like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. <laughs> oh, yeah. She really seemed to care about you, Gamor. You should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Those poor bastards. Exactly! Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean... I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker.
That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, you take everything that ain't bolted down, you give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get airborne. But this is our home. I built my life on this ship. And if you want to continue that life, you'll have to unbuild it. Sorry. Ah! No! Please don't tell me this! As long as I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. I hope. ideas on how to move these engines, my boots won't be able to. It's an engine, you need just turn it on. Oh good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Noble grease. Sounds gross now that I think about it. Careful, Quill! Hey, I'm doing my best out here. Great! Now I'm inside an upset stomach. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of Neb No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any... No, Drax! There's a rhythm to it. Hey, Rocket. I want you to go easy on Gamora. Okay, she's... Yeah, okay, I know when to back off. This whole stomach is lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. Drax, how's the unloading going? I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um... Okay, Drax, I need to talk to you later. Where I am from, interruptions are considered treasonous. Nah, <laughs> no engines here. Mora. Everything I touch, I'm toxic. You're not toxic, Mora. That stomach? <laughs> That's toxic. Thank you. I think. Do. 
Hey, Rocket, make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Ah, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. How's the rest of the crew doing? We are arguing about what to jettison. Get back as quickly as you can. Drax. Yes, Peter Quill. Have you gathered the necessary components to eject us from this beast? Not yet. What about now? <laughs> Rocket, what's up with these boots? I thought you fixed them. I made a valiant effort. There's only so much you can do when parts are scarce. Incidentally, we're gonna need to replace our plumbing when we get back to nowhere. Either way, stop complaining. Look at that. With all of those crystals, I can blast us out of here. Or get blown to kingdom come. Peter, what if we just dispose of Nebula's cyborg parts? No! What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? I suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why are you asking? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Big boy. Uh, Peter, I wanted to warn you that I'm throwing away that orange ball you gave me as a token of your affection. The basketball? It hardly weighs a thing. Everything has to go, Peter. And also, Drax stabbed it. Oh, man! I think... I think... 
think I'm alive? I think. Oh, God. Oh. I knew. I knew. Just a little bit. I knew that was going to happen soon. Wow. This is a good helmet. Sounds like progress. It's only like our lives depend on it. Get off my back! There's no freaking way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Okay. That's way too awesome to trash. See? Quill understands the value of a good gun. They don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh. That's some image. Yeah. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. Good. Good. I'm proud that you found the strength to do that, man. They were not heavy things. It was easy. <laughs> well, thanks for listening to me. At least someone does. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. She should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, no. Just, just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Oh, man. Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter. I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. A photo of me and Mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lie. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, my emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They helped me to... Act like a fool? No. 
Relax. Help me to relax. I mean, get rid of it. You can buy new. I need to keep my wits about me. It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. Take one last look at this bod, because after today we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. My toy ray gun from Earth. He used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. You know, this toy was a good primer, but I've upgraded to the real deal. Accept no substitutes. Well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before. But I wish I had something to throw away, to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are, and I do not want to throw you away. Here, you can start your own collection of odds and ends. That you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. It's the only one. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Totally sacrifice things. Fine. The gun goes. You happy? Consider my swords ditched. I am Groot. Man, that is... Really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. You should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? Bowie! How did it get in here? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Hmm? Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. You don't know that. He ran just as the other creatures appeared. I am rude. It doesn't matter if you like him. He needs to go. I have also developed a fondness for this foolish creature. Wow, great. So everyone is buddies with the cave worm now? That's fantastic. We're keeping him. That's the end of it. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. Ha! <laughs> I mean, not. Great. Great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff, and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers, and that thing has to go. Okay. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. It's real weird and all, but even after Peter's inspiring sacrifice, it's gonna be close. I'm thinking it's better to be safe and lose the extra weight. Oh, man. We'll need the beat. You'll see. Trust me. Have I steered us wrong yet? Don't answer that. Just the trust thing. Do that. Better hope one of those engines is in more pristine condition than it looks, Quill. That's the spirit. See, we need hope and music. Who's ready to take off? Ready to attempt it, I suppose. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I installed the engines you found? Yep, right after that. Exactly.
Ready to bust out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta... Uh, pick an exit. Uh... Are you actually implying... Yes. This worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I... am Groot. <laughs> Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterity. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? It's the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote Mount. We already know the Milano uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing's... Uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Oh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we've seen in this place, I'm sure its butt has teeth, too. I think going out the front end is best. Everything barfs. We'll just make it do that. You wish to reverse this creature's digestive tract? The path of least resistance would be... Do not say colon! You just said colon! <laughs> I'm going to fly now! <laughs> Holy... It's working! And it's gonna be gross. Still beats the alternative. How do you know? Just get us out alive, please. No problemo. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Projectile vomit. Woo! Baby! who can sort of fly, so it's got to be you. I'm fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you going to slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just going to tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Uh, I don't think that's a safe One, two, three. Okay, Pete, I gotta write this thing. Hold on to something. Rocket, don't you dare. Rocket, I'm gonna kill you. who can sort of fly, so it's got to be you. I'm fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you going to slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? 
I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the way. Ready? Uh, I, I don't think that's the same thing. One, two, three. So yeah, bye. All right, guys, and thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really appreciate all the support you've given us. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content. And please also check all all of these thumbnails around me for more fantastic content from projects. All right, all right, and until the next time, bye bye.